Initially, this building it was uh, 10 storey high and it extended to 14. Because of the new floors, there were four columns added, these massive columns. They were really, really big and bulky elements, two of them in the middle. And then the other two at the ends, I've converted them and, and integrated them as part of the, the green wall. And the planters, horizontally, they've become the hanging garden. So as you can see, this is exactly just about a year after completion and the plants are really looking like a, a hanging garden as intended. So this is on level three we are on, and it goes up to level nine. So from level three to level nine, that's the six to seven floors uh, of offices overlooking into this atrium space. This whole space is treated as an external uh, space with a natural ventilation, meaning we don't need sprinklers, we don't need smoke extraction fans. And because of this, uh, it has to be naturally ventilated. Uh, the previous design was a mesh facade to get, uh, to get the ventilation through. Uh, what, what I did was I replaced it with glass and it was actually rejected by the fire authority because glass is simply not a permeable material. And what I did was I, I layered it by stepping it 900 millimeters, about nearly three feet apart and gives the, uh, the, the, cross vent, uh, the ventilation into the atrium space. Maybe you could talk a little bit about the experience you had when you maybe unveiled this idea. What, how the project started off was the client wanted to replace the facade and the client said, Kelvin, why don't you have a look and see what you can do to the inter interior because it was dark and dingy, it was grey and it was, had all the mesh over it and it just looked pretty enclosed. It's a bit like a prison cell in a way. It's really, really unfriendly and uninviting. There was just two key words that I, I, I used. I wanted to make this lively, meaning it wasn't pleasant and people were you know, turning their, back, their backs onto this space. So I want to make it lively, that's one. The second one was to green this space so that it's, it, it has the, the, the sort of softness to it. Has that affected the rents at all? <laughs> are, they, are they being asked to pay more? Uh, well, I, I can't... The, the, the rent actually went up, you know, um, uh, Partly due to the economy, and partly it's 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 a, it's a significant improvement to it. So, I, but I can't tell a portion it how much is due to this. Before the renovation, out of the uh, six floors that faces the atrium, only one floor was let out, and the floor that was let out actually did not actually turn its back onto this space. It was actually facing the other side. But when it's finished, they they extended their office and actually look into the the, the hanging garden atrium. And I'm pleased to say that all the floors now have been let within a year. Yeah. And the vegetation, is it some, is there, was there something special that you were trying to do with the, the kinds of plants? They are on individual potted systems, about six inch cube, 150 cube. And uh, they are on auto uh, irrigation system. So it's, it's visually dripped onto almost 13,000 pots of plants in here. The good thing about this system is that it is individually potted, which aesthetically you can hardly see the pots now, uh, even when it was first completed. Uh, the, 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 my main concern was the, uh, the well-being of the plants and should any of them uh, doesn't survive or, or, or doesn't look too healthy, they can be easily uh, individually changed and replaced or, 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 or maintained. Uh, so this is what I'm, I, the first priority that I wanted. All you do is you just turn sideways and you okay. slip, slip, slip in. Through. <laughs> this is the, uh, the, the inside of the green wall uh, behind it where maintenance uh, access is provided. It's, it's, as I've mentioned, these are all individual pots and uh, they are all on the, uh, simply clip onto some frames and then onto this, the, the metal structure. Shortly after it was completed, can't see any today, but there have been birds, uh, butterflies and, and dragonflies that stream through here. In fact, up on the highest uh, planter on level 9, there was a, a bird nest that was discovered and there was a, a, a little baby bird that we found. Uh, unfortunately, because it's a commercial building, they have to <laughs> remove it. <laughs> uh, and what happens is, is you look down onto the glass floor, it, it, it visually, it, it 
connects you back to the pavement and the road Street. level. Yeah. And uh, I was actually uh, inspired by uh, the St. Paul's in Notre Dame, uh, Gothic uh, architecture, with the, the amount, kind of the, the grand space that they have. So when I saw this, I, I said, that we must have the glass floor here. So when you look up, you get this cathedral of green above your head. And of green. That's terrific. Exactly. That's primarily. A bird. There's a bird. I see a bird. Oh yes, yes, there yes, is. yes, there yes. That's a bird. Yeah. Yeah. We have a bird. Are there any government incentives? Any anything uh, that helped to, to make this possible? Yes, in Singapore, the the end parks, the national parks, uh, which is in charge of all the greenery planting in in, in Singapore, they have uh, a skyrise greenery incentive scheme, uh, and it actually has got fairly good funding. Um, is uh, I hope with uh, 158 Cecil Street we, we will be able to uh, uh, get more people uh, to be more open and receptive towards having green walls in, 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 in a major scale. The, 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 the fascinating thing about this building, even now a year after uh, has been finished, each time I come back I bring my camera along because it changes and, and, and you see things that are new. So it's, 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 it's a living wall. First one you've done? This it's, your first, it's my first project. Your first yeah, green my wall? first green wall. I my word. first project since I came out into practice on Are my really? own.